What's good everybody? Chris here again. Chris goes outdoors. We're out today. I believe we're on Town Hall Road. Um, don't ask me what town because I couldn't tell you. And we are at the Slippery Brook Trailhead. So there's kind of two ends to this. We're on what I would think is the much less traveled side. Um, but you can get up there the same way if you go up uh, toward the Bald Faces, the parking lot for there. We're heading up to Eastman Mountain. I believe it's four and a half miles up. Supposedly two of it's down an old logging road. The plan, at the very least, is to test out the hammock again. So I uh, got a 20 degree underquilt and a tarp with doors. So maybe we'll see that later on in the video. But yeah, let's uh, get ready, get hiking. So finally, after about two miles, we've uh, entered real woods. So, looks really nice. Terrain is starting to get more elevated as expected. And we're uh, walking relatively close to Slippery Brook, or what I assume is Slippery Brook. So, you can probably hear it off in the distance. So, going to keep continuing on up and uh, enjoy the new change in scenery. So proceeding our way up the trail, it's gotten relatively steep, but we're probably a fifth of a mile between the intersection we want to hit. So it splits off to Slippery Brook, I think Bald Knob Trail and Eastman Trail. Once we get down the Eastman Trail, it's eight tenths of a mile up to Eastman Mountain. And I guess it's pretty steep for the latter half, so. Beautiful trail here, it doesn't seem like it's traveled that often. I was the only car down there when I pulled up Saturday on a holiday weekend in the fall. I mean, you know, it's crazy. But the woods are beautiful and it's super, super quiet. All right. That's no adjustment to the volume. It's just dead silent out here. <laughs> it's crazy. We'll keep going. Hopefully I uh, get some nice views. So we made it to the top of Eastman Mountain. Man, it's like Fall City behind me. Looks beautiful. That is a uh, bald face. I think it's self bald face. 
awesome, awesome mountain too. You can do it as a loop. It's phenomenal. Got a video on it if you want to check it out, but so much fun. But man, this is sweet. Enough of me babbling again. All right, take a look, take a look at the views. So we've been up here about an hour, saw random rabbits sitting on the summit, and uh, it's getting windy and it's getting cloudy. So uh, we're gonna roll off the top of the mountain here. Pretty uh, pretty legit views. Um, there's no like full 360, but there's like little spots. So like one here, there's one on the backside, one over there that you can uh, see out to. So it's like having three different views on one mountain. But uh, yeah, we're gonna head down uh, back toward the intersection. I don't know if I'm going to go to Bald Knob um, as previously planned, but we'll see. Um, there's a very cool uh, kind of campsite area. I can definitely make a hammock work um, that I saw coming up here, so I'm planning to stay there. So I wouldn't mind getting there early and just like setting up, messing around with the hammock a little because it's kind of what this weekend was for mainly, like do some mountains and get to mess with the hammock a little, get to, get to know it a little better, you know? So, we'll see. Alright, so I got down to the intersection and I uh, was going to go up to Bald Knob, but I don't know if you can tell by the video anyway, um, if it looks darker, but clouds rolled in, it's like super cloudy now. I can see up to the top of Bald Face and it's just in the clouds now, so I uh, decided, no thanks, and uh, I am in the woods right now and I'm going to post up the hammock. So last video, I don't know, you may have seen it, may have not have, but uh, check it out. It was uh, Black Mountain, my first hammock overnight. And uh, it went pretty well. Um, I got a Dutch chameleon set up and I had an 11 foot, or uh, excuse me, 12 foot hammock gear, Cuban fiber hex tarp and no underquilt. I used a pad. This time around, I have a 20 degree hammock gear incubator. So I'm gonna use that. And I also have a 11 foot hammock gear tarp with doors. So we're gonna give it a run, uh, try to set it up. So I'll uh, post you up, let you watch. There you can see it again. That is the, uh, the Dutch uh, spider straps and uh, the beetle buckle suspension. Give you a little close up of that right there. That is the beetle buckle suspension. And you can see too. I got a Dutch clip on the end of the uh, thing there, but you can see this is how they have the um, continuous ridge line done. Which I don't know. I don't love it, but. I don't hate it, you know? So then, and take a look here, you can see that is 
the hammock gear incubator 20 it's uh one of the the premium ones not the econ i picked that up used um but pretty sweet guy said he hardly ever used it same with the uh the tarp i picked them both up from the same guy and then we got the little pull out there and the uh the doors are all hooked in i don't foresee myself needing them tonight but you never know i said set it up in a uh, porch mode a little bit i only use one trekking pole so that's all i got I set the tarp up on the right side this time. <laughs> Not like last time, it was uh, inside out. <laughs> and uh, you can see here the little connection there on the tarp. So it comes off a piece of shock cord right here. These little clips right here. I don't know if it's the same on all hammock gear tarps, but uh, on the doors, the doors actually clip right into these. And then this is the little tarp worm there. You pull it down make a little loop like that and then hook that into the tarp worm and then it pulls it and uh, locks it in place so that's how those work and then it's just uh, staked out again I don't really know how I'm uh, even feeling about the hammock situation yet I'm still playing around with it um, but definitely want to keep uh keep going with it see where it takes me so we're gonna post up eat a little and then uh we'll probably just hang out jump into bed see how uh, comfortable it is with the uh the underquilt since i uh, almost froze to death the uh the other night <laughs> let's do it a little view from my uh my campsite here so ah, just kicking it it's so early too it's like it's like three something Calling it a night already, whatever. I'm gonna uh, eat up quick and then just post up for the night. I have a uh, backpack or pantry meal, but I'm not really feeling it. I'm not even that hungry, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick it old school. I'm gonna go uh, kind of AT style. <laughs> so we got right here uh, some chicken flavor ramen and uh, I got some tuna in there and just some snacks and stuff. So we'll enjoy. ramen good to go snacked on a bunch of candy bars been eating the peanuts Reese's fast break Snickers you name it and I got a uh, a star kissed tuna in sunflower oil best ones for sure in my opinion the flavor ones are all right but I don't know the sunflower oil is like the one I never get sick of never got sick of on the trail either highest calories too another plus when you're out there gonna eat pretty quick um, we're getting some raindrops coming down so definitely want to get uh, back under the shelter as soon as possible mm. so that is my bear bag <laughs> hung off in the distance so we're just uh, wrapping up for the evening so gonna be hitting the hay very soon but I batten down the doors it's pretty sweet super easy Show you right here the uh right there so they just uh snap right on with these little clips in both sides and uh, outrageously easy to get them all squared away so just leaving my bag under my uh, hammock and uh we'll be good to go i'm gonna call it a night just uh wrapping up I'm gonna jump in the hammock just chill hang out listen to a little podcast and fall asleep Good morning, we're up and at them the next morning. So, it uh, appears to have actually warmed up overnight, which is fairly rare up here, especially in the fall. It's probably in the 50s right now, so not too bad temp-wise. Um, there is a, it's a little mix of clouds and blue um, from what I can see through the trees. I could see the sun trying to poke through too. Um, so the plan this morning, got my food bag down, gonna eat something. Um, but I may just leave all my stuff here, um, just carry up a little day hike bag, and then run up to the summit more. I just don't go up at all and head back down. Doesn't matter really either way. Just nice to be out.
don't think I'm going to go up to Bald Knob. Um, it is getting definitely cloudy and uh, it's been raining off and on. So I'm probably just gonna work my way out of here. Said I was gonna go up there about an hour and a half ago and I've just been lounging. <laughs> Dangers of a hammock, I suppose. Just trying out different positions, different uh, settings, uh, different things on the under quilt and stuff. So one of my favorite things about this Dutchware thing, you can see the little clips there. You can hook the under quilt into them and it makes it so it doesn't uh, slide around too much. And that thing works like a dream. <laughs> like I feel like I was booting that thing all night. <laughs> and uh, it stayed, it stayed all night, it stayed this morning. So the under quilt, as I may have mentioned already, it made a world of difference as far as sleep goes. Like it's definitely warmer out, but um, even when it was pretty chilly last night, substantial difference um, from when I was just using the pad. And the pad was uh, iffy to say the least, like if I moved at all. It was essentially cold spots galore and the underquilt just made a world of difference. And I tucked the tarp down uh, in kind of storm mode, really block out the wind, closed up the doors and it was roasty toasty all night. We're gonna pack this baby up and uh, ship on out, I reckon. Go back down to the car. So we're right back down, right before the parking area. This way, coming up, not too bad. Good hike, pretty good views up there. Nice uh, fall scenery, and uh, that's gonna do it, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the little hammock action in the video as well. If you did, consider dropping it a like. If you loved it, consider commenting and subscribing. Maybe uh, throw me some of your hammock knowledge down below. As I mentioned previously, hammock people love talking hammocks. <laughs> So fire them down below. You can also follow me on Instagram if you care to at Chris Goes Outdoors. Do not feel obligated. Social media is pretty lame. And that's gonna do it. Till next time, everyone. Thank you again for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next one. Take care.